In this video on C Sharp Basics, we'll be discussing relational operators. Now, relational operators are operators that result in a true or false, or Boolean, result. The first relational operator is the equal operator. You can see it's two equal signs together. This is what distinguishes the equals relational operator from the assignment operator. The equals operator has two equal signs, whereas the assignment operator that we've seen before has only one equal sign. The equals operator returns a true result if the two values are equal to each other. So for example, five equals five. This operation would return true. The equals relational operator returns false if the two values are not equal to each other. So five equals six would return false. Alternatively to the equals operator, there is the not equals relational operator. The not equals relational operator returns true if the two values are not equal to each other. So five does not equal four would return true. The not equals relational operator returns false if the two values are in fact equal to each other. So five not equals to five is in fact false. The greater than relational operator returns true if the first value is greater than the second value. So in this case, five is greater than four would return true. Conversely, it would return false if the first value is less than or equal to the second value. So five greater than six would return false and five greater than five would also return false. The less than relational operator is the opposite of the greater than operator. The less than relational operator returns true if the first value is less than the second value. So in this case, five less than six returns true. However, the less than relational operator would return false if the first value is greater than or equal to the second value. So in the example of five less than four, that would return false and so would five less than five. Then there is the greater than or equal to relational operator. The greater than or equal to relational operator returns true if the first value is greater than or equal to the second value. So five greater than or equal to four would return true, and so would five greater than or equal to five. However, the greater than or equal to relational operator returns false if the first value is less than the second value. So five greater than or equal to six would return false. And finally, the less than or equal to relational operator returns true if the first value is less than or equal to the second value. So in this case, five less than or equal to six would return true. And so would five less than or equal to five. Then of course, the less than or equal to relational operator returns false if the first value is greater than the second value. So five less than or equal to four would return false. These relational operators are the basis for most of the control flow that you will see in C Sharp. The relational operators combined with the if, else, switch, and other such statements determine the majority of how your application will make decisions.